Hey guys, this is Snipeye. Uh, it's been a while since I last put it up an episode. Sorry about that. Uh, I've also gained a whole bunch of subscribers since I last put up an episode. I'm recording this uh, Friday night here. Um, do in large part thanks to the works of, I think, the Chunke, which I really appreciate. He posted a link on Reddit to my channel, and since then I've got like seven times the subscribers, so I really appreciate that. Thank you. Shout out to the Chunke there. If you guys want to give him a thank you for bringing you here, you know, welcome new subscribers, all that. Um, so I've actually not got a lot of time until I got to get going on a couple things here, but I wanted to try and see if we didn't have time to work on the golem farm. Uh, also... 1.2.5 is out, and I'm actually not on it yet. I think this is this Minecraft window is still open from 1.2.4, so probably somewhere in the middle. I'll just switch over to 1.2.5. But uh, I've been working on filling these furnaces with coal, so yeah, all of those have a stack each. Well, it reminded me 1.2.4 is that uh, you can now shift click in furnaces in 1.2.5, so. I'll look at the change log and get more specifics. But let's see, I don't think there's a way out without <laughs> triggering. Uh still got about two hundred villagers in there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay. That was my chicken coop. Okay, I was very worried for a minute there. But now it's all okay. Um yeah, I closed off that, and somehow they've spawned two iron golems now, which I'm not questioning. I didn't think they'd be able to, but apparently they can. I thought I needed 32 villagers to do that. In fact, I'm really quite confident I need 32, but apparently I've got that somehow. Yeah, the doors are still down there, it's just there's a block in the way so they can't swim up at all. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Okay. I worked on some minecart trails for a while. Minecart tracks, rails. I made a portmanteau there. Not quite what I intended to say. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What's not funny is that creeper. Where'd he go? Oh, I just know he's going to jump out. Oh, never mind. Come on. Something else is going to kill me while I stand here waiting for this creeper. Okay. So, uh, let's go look at those minecart tracks really fast. Rails. Down, down, down. There we go. Okay. Um, so this one, I will label these eventually. That one still just goes all the way out to my skeleton farm. Oh, and I don't know if I showed this on camera last time. I don't think I did. I did get a level 50 enchantment on the shovel and on breaking three, which is really frustrating. But I'm going to try and not worry about that too much. Okay. Let's find out which one of these will bring me... There we go. Okay. Into the cart, and away we go. So this is actually another pretty long track here. Ran into a couple caves, or coal. Uh you saw how much coal I had in my furnace room. And that's all been coming from things like this or random caves. I'll show you a cave up up here that I explored for quite a while. And I still missed some. Okay. 
Nothing's going to jump out. This is not going to be how it is in the end. It's just kind of a placeholder until I get something more permanent. But, as you can see over here, there's a nice big cave. Um, goes off quite a while down that way. And that way. And I've gathered, probably pulled a good seven or eight stacks of coal out of there. I've been using my Fortune 5, Fortune 3 Efficiency 5 pick since I've got two of them. And I'm now completely turned around, I think. Let's see here. Cave. Goodness, this should not be that hard. Okay. It's... I feel like an idiot right now. I'm going to blame this. Oh, yeah, right there. Gigantic cobblestone structure that I somehow just ignored. I'm going to blame this on me being really tired. It's not super late here, but it's been an interesting past couple of nights. Okay. So this is all going to go up into Gollum Farm, and I don't know how much of that I'll be able to get done today. Hopefully a lot. But, we'll see. I've got a whole bunch of cobblestone ready to go. I'm not looking forward to getting the villagers down to my minecart system. Because I'd like to just use this track to bring them across. Since minecart is probably going to be the easiest way to move them around. From where they are right now. But, getting them down to my minecart track could prove to be difficult and if I don't do that it means I have to make an entirely new track which would suck so it's either difficult or suck and I don't know which I'm gonna go with yet so that's a pretty brief overview of what I've been doing in the time since the last episode I've also been quite caught up with school it's getting busy <laughs> There I was hoping for a nice, easy last term, but no such luck. Um, let's see. This is really dark. I haven't been in the nether in quite a while. I'm avoiding it. We have those, though. Just grabbing some random stuff. Okay. And somewhere around here, I'm quite convinced there is a zombie dungeon or something, because I always hear zombies somewhere around this lair. It's never any other type of mob. I guess the other mobs are a lot more quiet. Skeletons, I think I'd hear. Creepers, of course not. But there's got to be some sort of zombie dungeon. And I'm wondering if that might be, at least experience-wise, more efficient to get 50 than my skeleton farm is right now. I don't know for sure if the zombies give. Gosh dang it. Yeah, those pressure plates definitely have to go. I don't know for sure if zombies give more experience than skeletons do. But seeing as they have armor, I would assume so. I mean, it makes sense. Right. But I'm going to get some materials over to there for the iron golem farm. And get to work on that since I said I'd work on it, you know, like three episodes ago, and so far it's all been working with villagers. Which, you know, is necessary, but not quite as interesting and not quite as useful. In fact, not useful at all since villagers do a grand total of nothing. Except for make iron golems, but we haven't put them to that yet. But I'll stop recording for a second and get that all ready to go. So I'll be back soon. Okay, so I have dug myself a little house, sort of. Cobblestone, other stuff. I'm interested in the cobblestone right now. Take a row of it, a row of it, pardon me, and get started here. Block that back up. Okay. 
Oh, and funny story, while I was shipping, I'll call it shipping cobblestone over here, a cow jumped in my cart and somehow managed to ride it off. I don't know, it's on an unpowered rail, which should have braked it and held it in place, but I had to walk back and kill a cow. I was worried it was going to be like a creeper or something, but it wasn't that bad. Okay, so we've got our center of attention right here. Um, the golems are going to fall into a 3x3 three three area, so we need to block off a 3x3 three three area here. Okay, and these aren't going to be here the whole time. We'll cut those out eventually and worry about the water streams and all that later. But just for simplicity's sake, this is where they're falling. Okay, and we'll build this up quite a bit. Um, we want them to have a decent fall into it so that we can be positive they will in fact fall into it and not get stuck in the water tubes above and just like push against the ones that are already in here so a three high fall I think is technically enough but I'm gonna play it safe and just give them four since they don't take fall damage anyway and it doesn't matter since we're killing them with lava and not even trying to get XP okay after that we're gonna take this out to the maximum extent of where the farm goes. This is the path that they will walk or half be half be swimming, half be pushed along until they get to there. Okay. And that's just the limit of the border. So this will actually need to go out uh, I wanna say two more but I think I'll do three more just to play it safe. Okay. Well. And the same thing on this side. Out to where these go. And I really hope no Enderman decide to move that around because that'd throw off my entire thing. I'll count to be sure. And then three more. Okay, so these one, two, three, then it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. That is not seventeen. The actual platform itself is only seventeen wide. So you go one, two, three, four. So let's see, from the center, there are going to be eight on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three out for the thing underneath it. And these can just go away. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These can all go away. After the eight, I need three more. And then they can go away. Okay. In case you couldn't tell, I have not practiced building this. Although, I dare say you can probably tell. I'll just leave that there for now. And it's just going to be cobblestone, and it'll be ugly as a result. But I don't have resources to make it something like sandstone and pretty and for the most part this is a functionality over form here as much as I like to make things look good I'm still pretty new in this world and I'm not super well established I mean, pretty well off in all honesty but not willing to dedicate a whole bunch of resources to make an iron golem farm that I will mostly never look at be really pretty okay so these are the paths right that I've already explained and from here these are just walls to hold them in place okay that can just go away now 
Right, so they fall right into this 3x3 three three area and they'll immediately start being pushed down to the end. So we'll do the same thing to this side. And then each one of these walls will go three up. So each one will be three tall, just tall enough to fit an iron golem. Okay. I'll leave that one off for now so I can still get up easily. And get rid of these. Just using the minimum amount of cobblestone here since I don't know if I'm going to have enough to be sparing. So this really is going to be pretty ugly, in all honesty. And I almost care. high. One more, and then we'll give it a ceiling. Wish I had brought a bed, but I guess I'll just work through the night. I think you guys can still see alright. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, and I'll be sure to not build at night. But my brightness is all the way up. That's how I like to play. So, hopefully you guys don't have any problems seeing. almost there now. Oh, and I'm starving. I think I brought some watermelon. It's probably in my hut. Well, good job me. Oh, nothing better kill me. Or rather... Better, nothing, I don't know how to phrase it so it doesn't sound stupid. There, now spiders can't get in. Okay. I'm just gonna keep these with me. Okay. So, sorry if I get a little bit boring while doing this part. It's not terribly interesting, and I did not prepare any dialogue here, so this is straight up me trying desperately to improv and not sound like an idiot on camera. You know, it's always fun, right? Okay. This is right where they'll fall down and start getting pushed. I don't know, I don't think, that I need to make this any taller than it already is. I'll just leave it like that for now. Do it to the other side. Okay. Now from here, uh, so these are, if you're remembering my video where I showed off the Iron Golem farms in my creative world, these are sort of the pathways that they follow to fall in. So the, there's a the big spawning platform, it's 17 by 17, that goes above this all. They get pushed off to the side and then they'll get pushed into these kind of waterways that I'm building now, then into here to the center. So, total width of these waterways needs to be 17, so 8 on each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Excellent. Okay. So that's the actual length of the spawning platform right there is what I've got laid out right now. And then we'll build up walls around the edges and stuff, of course, so that they can't fall off. Oh, and 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. So also, it just works out that I don't need to worry about layering these up at all, like because the water flows for long enough that it'll go all the way in. I probably phrased that really badly too, but just double checking and making sure this is the right dimensions because it seems almost too small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I know that's seven, so that's seventeen total. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Okay. Build up these walls. Might have to go down for another load of cobble here soon. Huh. Ought to be fun. Alright. Getting there. Do I need this? Yes, yes, I do. Now, iron golems can jump a little bit so I'm gonna make this waterway two blocks high so a little bit taller than strictly speaking it needs to be but tall enough that they won't be able to jump out at all and they can only jump more than one block when they're trying to get after a mob I don't know it was some weird reading I did on minecraft wiki or in the discussion pages or somewhere a golem had jumped to over two blocks or something to get to a zombie, but I'll probably not be having that problem. Which is why I'm going to just make it two blocks high. Okay. Now, we can give this a roof. A roof. I'm sure that that's going to become some massive moss monster pit as soon as I leave it alone, so better light it up. I'll need to grab other torches. Just leave random dirt blocks everywhere too while I'm at it. Okay. I think it wouldn't be that hard to put down blocks, but apparently I can manage to struggle with it here. Let's see, I'm gonna blame it on lag. Oh, rain, my favorite part of this game. <sighs> so we continue. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Beef these up on the sides. Avoid starving to death. And feel thoroughly miserable because I hate the rain. And don't pull a vintage beef. Sorry, vintage. A beef or whatever you go by for shorthand. It's just a good way of saying it, you know? Okay, and we need to build up balls on these as well. Which I could actually do just using this as a base so I can save a little bit of dirt. <laughs> Because you know how valuable that stuff is. Should really be making an effort to conserve it, for sure. It's not like I have stacks and stacks of it four seconds in that direction. Hmm. Okay. 
so the cobble I brought did make it through the night, so I won't have to go down there with a whole bunch of mobs, although I may still since I don't know how fast they despawn when it rains. And I hope I'm not being too boring here. Um, some information you guys want, I don't know. It's going to be at least a week, maybe even a couple weeks before I put up another video. I apologize beforehand. Uh, I'm going to be gone on a trip for a while. Going all over the place. I'm going to be gone for a week, a little over a week maybe. So, just giving you guys a heads up. Since I'm gone, I probably am not going to post new videos. And if I do, well, I'm sure I had something witty in mind to say when I finished that sentence, but now I can't remember it. So, we'll leave it at I will not be posting new videos. So yep, that's already looking horribly atrocious and ugly and unsightly, so exactly what I was expecting. Excellent. Grab another row of cobble here. And start on the next layer. I'm going to need a couple buckets of water eventually. So, one final check, make sure it's the right length. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, that's exactly how long we need it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, lag. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Excellent. We've got exactly a 17 by 17 platform, which is perfect for spawning golems. And again, like I mentioned in my last video, uh, the most dramatic influence on golem spawn rates, at least according to my testing, was utilizing all the spawn area. If you don't do that, you don't get nearly as good rates. So I want to make sure that I use all that. And I think while technically they can only spawn in a 16 by 16 area around the center of the village. Uh, 17, but when I had two water streams in the center right next to each other that went opposite directions. So one went off to the left side, one went off to the right. The golems seem to get stuck in that more often than one stream going right and then a solid stream in the middle not moving and then one stream going left. I think it's because they're only about two blocks wide so it's a lot more likely that they're only going to be in two of those three mentioned streams so they're I'll wait, they'll either be pulled net right or net left and probably not get stuck in the very middle instead. So that's useful there. Plus it makes everything nice and easy to base around threes, which look good, in my opinion at least. You know, nice square tunnels, three by three instead of two by three. Okay. Almost done with this really boring part, so I guess. In fact, I don't know exactly how much of this footage I'll be cleaning up. I might even end up separating this into two episodes or something, since it's probably going to end up being a lot of footage. And most of it not terribly interesting, but important to knowing how to build a golem farm. An iron golem farm, I guess. There are other kinds of golems. Goodness lag, why am I eating so much lag? I've got like 3 gigs of RAM for this. Should not be freezing out. I've got a really nice processor. <laughs> I've listed my specs on one of these videos. I think it might have been 
first one with the wheat farm? I don't know. But if you haven't seen that episode, I'll go over them again. I've got 16 gigs of RAM total. It's an i7 2600K processor, so that's 3.4 gigahertz stock. And I could, with the CPU cooler I've gotten there, I could probably overclock it really easily. But I don't need to and don't really have any interest in doing that. So you know, this is already... My old computer was, I think, dual core 1.25 gigahertz, and this is quad core 3.4. So, oh, and it's a Hackintosh, so if you don't know what it means, basically you build a computer and then install a Mac on it, which is normally you know, on non-Apple hardware, not possible or supported, but I haven't had any issues with it so far, except for a little bit of an issue trying to get Java 1.7 or release 7 or whatever you want to call it, working with Snow Leopard, it's OS 10.6, and that didn't go over very well, but I got my Java fixed in the end, <laughs> back to 1.6 or version 6. And no hard feelings. Except I hate Java Solid. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's great, but I'd have to upgrade my operating system to make it work. And as much as my Hackintosh is stable right now, it might not be the case if I upgraded. So I'm content to where it, leave it where it's at for now. Uh... Video settings. Yeah. Just checking. I've got everything at maximum. I hate viewing bobbing. Ugh. It's just really annoying to me. Okay. And just for the sake of symmetry, I'll put one here too. Okay, so this layer right here is the layer the villagers are going to stand at. And the villagers have to be at least 70 blocks apart. So let's shift of 3. Okay, so Y75, so the next village is going to have to be like at 145, I'll put it at 150 just to be safe, and then another one at 225. So I've got plenty of room toward the sky to expand, which is awesome since that height map increase, I've been loving that, using it a lot. I've been considering redoing my lava house over there, <coughs> redoing my lava house over there, and bringing it up to the new height limit, but... There's not really a point since most of the space in there is unused anyway. I don't know why I'm doing this to really slow way. <laughs> okay, and then the total border around the farm is only going to be two blocks high. Before I get there though, oof. I don't want to neglect to provide a spot to start installing your village. Right there. Okay. And I'll do another one over here. Just right there. Okay. And one on this side. You'll understand what these are for when I get to that. Might not even be this episode. We'll have to see. And one on this side. There we go. Okay. Come on. Alright. Sorry again. I'm gonna I'm apologizing a lot this episode. Uh, the commentary is not going to be very interesting here. Even though I'm doing something really boring and simple. Trying to remember how to build the rest of the golem farm. So, <laughs> pardon me if I stop talking for a while. It might alleviate some of your headaches and some of you might get bored. But I'm hoping that, I don't know, since I released videos about iron golems and iron golem falling far 
iron golems and iron golem farming, my views have gone up a lot, and I have no doubt it's a due large part to uh, posts on Reddit. Again, thank you, the chunk here. And people interested in farming iron golems. I mean, free iron bars. It's an awesome idea. So, that's probably played quite a large part. So hopefully these tutorials on how to build this farm will get me even more uh, popularity. Is that the word I want to use? Not really, but whatever. Um, okay, so in order to make sure that this is the center of the village, the very center of this platform, is the center of our pseudo-village, we need to evenly balance some demi-villages along the side. Or the sides. So since it's an odd number, we can't have an even number around each side. Then it'd just be off by one. So I'm going to do 13 on this side. Uh, actually, so originally I did enough platforms on the side to sustain doors so that the villagers would manually repopulate to 16, or automatically repopulate to 16, so I wouldn't have to bring up villagers, more than 8 villagers, you know, 2 per set. But since Iron Golem spawns with 16 doors, uh, and I've got plenty of villagers, oh, that's cool, and I've got plenty of villagers and don't need to worry about <laughs> conserving them, I can probably get away with a lot less doors on the side here. So, I think I'll do five here. Five on this side, so just centered around that block there. Five on that side, three on that side, and three on that side. And that's 16 doors total, which is just enough for an iron golem to spawn. So let's get over to there. Oh, finally stopped raining. Thank goodness. Okay, so this is the center. So one two, three, these guys will need to go away, and then continue at five here, okay, so you can see now what that little block I placed down there was for, get rid of that thing, then up, and because I really hate the stupid villagers opening and closing doors again and again and again sound without any purpose. I like to put my doors somewhere and put my villagers separate but nearby so that they can still count for a village but can't actually open and close the doors and annoy me. So that's what I'm doing here. I wish I'd brought my bow. Okay. I actually guess that didn't need to be dirt. I'm just gonna close that up like that. Okay, so I'll put the actual villagers into here and I'll put the doors along here. And I'll shove a torch in there. I need to get more torches, that's for sure. Oh shoot. Oh boy. Did I bring anything that might help me kill this? No. Good. I'm not killing him with my nice pickaxe. Come here. Okay, now leave me alone. Please. Oh, if I go into my house, that one's going to corner me in it. So. <laughs> that's not happening. <sighs> this is frustrating. Yep, you know how much you want to come all the way over here for no purpose. No point except to get the heck away from me. And I am going to leave you behind. Good day, sir. Okay, uh, I'll be back to work on the golem farm in a second, guys.